Oh my gosh, this is the fourth time that I have tried to record this video. I tried to do it on YouTube three times. With like the online, um, whatever, upload, record thing, and it kept saying like three or four minutes into it that there was some kind of error. So, um, two things I want to say. One, I feel like I've said this before, I'm not sure if I have. Um, I want to do more videos that are kind of spontaneous, short. Here's what's in my brain. Um, because I have a lot of stuff come up that I think there are people out there that will relate to and maybe have more experience having thought about or maybe having better developed ideas or, you know, just maybe even being able to articulate what it is better than I can. Um, so the other thing is that I want to mention or that I want to talk about um, is having or, or not having I was going to say having non-judgment, but I would say not having judgment um, towards people or towards experiences that they've had or towards situations that they're in. And, oh my gosh, I get so lost now. I've been recorded it four times. I keep thinking of new shit. Um, basically, the phrase that was coming to mind for the last couple of months was that I am okay with everything. That was the initial phrase. Um, and that phrase caused me to question if I was really okay with everything. Obviously, there's exceptions to the rule, just as there are, there are exceptions with, with the phrase of not having judgment. But the am I okay with everything, or I am okay with everything, made me question if I really was. And also, in the other direction, it made me wonder if there was some apathy involved. If I just really didn't give a shit, and that's why I was okay with it. Um... And I think there is some neglect on my part, um, in some sense. But I definitely don't feel like it's apathy because I'm genuinely interested in the situation or the experience that this person's going through. Uh, and I'm kind of speaking at this too from a the standpoint of a therapist. You know, I'm going to school for for wilderness therapy, which is a transpersonal psychology, uh, transpersonal psychology, um, like a, it's counseling psychology, and. Um, so the the new phrase or the new idea that I've that has come to mind and it actually came to mind the second video was to not use the phrase I'm okay with everything but to to think of it in terms of not having judgment. Um, you know, when somebody tells me that both of their parents were alcoholics when they were growing up and they had about bad childhood, you know, my first response is like, Okay. Like that's I'm acknowledging that but I'm not judging it. We can talk about the details all you want. I'm down to do that. But I'm not giving you the the statements like, oh my god, that's crazy, or that's fucked up, or, you know, like, that's weird, like, that's not good. Like, those are all judgments, you know, and I, and I kind of want to say, like, well, that must have been hard, you know, it's like, that's an assumption, which is different than a judgment, um, in some ways, and that may or may not be bad, it's kind of an intuitive thing you have to use with the person you're talking to. But I don't want to point out the obvious. I feel like sometimes that bugs me. It's like, well, no shit growing up with two alcoholic parents is hard. Like, I don't want to point that out sometimes. So, I'm just kind of using my intuitive judgment. Um, obviously, there's no, well, maybe there are. I don't know if there's like a step-by-step -step what you should or shouldn't do. But anyway, I've started noticing this appreciation in people over the last year or two, or probably the last two years. And that appreciation usually comes in the form of them, um heck is that fuzz i just bought a new blanket if you can see it right here and it's super fuzzy so the appreciation is coming in the form of people telling me things they've never told other people or claiming that um i have people tell me all the time i've never told anybody that before or you're the first person i've ever told this to or whatever and i feel like that the way that you know the the reason they're telling me this because they feel comfortable because i'm not judging them on on things that they've said you know in in the past um that were you know for them that were pretty uh energetic or pretty moving or uh, I can't think of the word I'm looking for but you know and I'm not denying that growing up with two parents is, was not you know was just like a casual thing but I'm kind of treating it as like that's not necessarily the issue right here you know the issue may be that this person feels like they're becoming an alcoholic or they may feel like they're not able to do well in school because their parents drink all the time or whatever it is you know like it's it's kind of I don't know it's kind of like a a separate a separate event or a separate um, I don't know anything other than an event that really sounds good right now but um, 
you know, I'm just not having judgment on that. And I'm curious if other people have noticed themselves kind of having that transformation. Um, as you get older, do you feel like you upset, accept people for, you know, accept more of people? Um, in terms of like you, you have a more of a range of different situations or experiences that that you maybe have or haven't experienced, but you're just like so much more okay with it, you know? Um, because I feel like no matter what people tell me, no matter what people do, I have this like reasoning in my brain, this kind of justification of I'm not in their shoes. I don't know if I would have done that. I don't know if I would have done it differently. I don't. I just don't know. Um, so, I don't know. That's kind of what's been on my brain. And I'm just curious uh, to any thoughts you guys have on it. Um, I'm not going to try. I feel like I keep want to give you prompts. Like, I want to give you questions to answer. But I think I'm just going to leave it at that. If you have any thoughts on this topic, uh, post them up. Either video response or send me an email or in the comments. Either one. Later.